Anyway, in this video we're taking a look at the Tarsier version 2 4K split camera. I never got the retail version of the Tarsier version 1, so there were a lot of things that I didn't get in that, I guess, I guess it was essentially a prototype. I guess one of the things that people complained about was there was no manual or quick start guide. They've included that now, and there's a link to a manual. You can download a PDF file if you want. This does come with an ND8 filter in the box, um, in addition to the lens cap. Mine didn't come with that one uh, when I first got the version 1. And of course you get the controller cable um, and you also the SD card protector to make sure that doesn't ping out along with some screws and some spacers for mounting. And you also get a spare ribbon cable. And it looks like the ribbon cable is shorter now in the version 2. The quick start guide is pretty good and None of the functions has changed from version 1 to version 2, so I'm not going to cover all of that. I covered all that in the version 1 video, so you guys can uh, refer to that video if you want to actually see all the functions demonstrated. Now, this does have newer firmware as well as a new lens for the 4K camera. That's the two primary differences um, between the version 1 and version 2. So here's this is the version 2 here. It's got a shorter ribbon cable. The 4K camera is still on the top here where the ribbon cable comes out of the sensor unit and the FPV camera is down on the bottom and the lens is the same for the FPV camera. So let me just show you the, there's the version 1, got a much longer ribbon cable here. But the boards, they, they look the same to me. So you guys are sh really sharp eyes. Tell me if you notice any difference at all. I don't really notice too much of a difference, if any. But that's the boards. There's the two same boards again. And the one on the right is the version 1, the one on the left is the version 2. So you can see that the version, uh, well, the, the, the FPV camera um, both has the same lens as before. As far as I can tell, that's the same. But the 4K camera has a new lens that has a wider field of view. That was one of the bigger complaints about the 4K image was that even when on using the full 4.3 sensor it was a very narrow field of view. So we'll see if this new lens is any better at capturing a wider field of view um, on this new system and new firmware. Okay I got the camera transmitting and plugged in powered on. It's recording now. The lights seem to function the same. You can see here we got a red red blinking light. You power it on, it auto starts recording to your SD card. And again, you just still have, you still have to format the card in the camera, like on the version one. That's also in the Quick Start Guide. That's explained how to format it. Uh, but the FPV feed that I can tell from look, comparing the two looks the same. And if you go into the settings here, it also seems to be. All the same settings. Uh, of course, you know, NTSC PAL switchable, 4316 switchable. I prefer 4.3, you get the maximum field of view on the FPV, FPV feed on 4.3, and of course, I use NTSC. So I'm not going to cover this again. This is the FPV feed. We're going to go ahead and go into the camera settings. Let's see if there's anything different on the 4K image. So we'll stop the recording, and let's see, we have a solid red light now. And hold the button down here for eight seconds, I believe, and then the that'll turn on Wi-Fi. Should get a there we go. Flashing green light there means Wi-Fi is on. And going to our Wi-Fi settings, this is the same as before. And the password is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You bring up the Cadex app, it's the same app as before. Okay, now we have our image. Here, let's get this out of the way. Okay, so here is our image, it's 4K30 here. And it does look a little bit wider in the vertical field of view. Horizontal field of view looks about the same. Um, obviously, once I do the recordings, the 4K recordings, we'll see. 
But let's see if the 1440p and the 430 resolution is got a wider field of view vertically.